In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. Where that big tree is there, you can see the, can see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself, Terry, my partner, Ash, my mum, Tracy, dad, Tony, and nephew, Jonathan, in our family adventure at Chateau de la Lasalle. So, my glasses finally arrived and um, finally got it all cut and sorted now, which is fantastic. But it means the next thing now, obviously I need to get sorted um, to the style that I want, ready for the door on the top of the turret. Um, so obviously I'm wanting to do with frosted like mum done in the cottage on the bathroom door. So I'll put the film on, but before I do that, I'm wanting to do a bit of lead work on it just so it looks like it's a bit more decorative rather than just a piece of plain glass in there. And me being me, obviously you know me by now that I never like to do anything easy. I'll take the easy option. So I'm planning on doing a bit of a design like this, um, just to make it look a lot more interesting up there. Um, when guests come, obviously they will be using the whole of the tower and they'll want to take pictures and stuff. So just to make it Look a bit more interesting up there. I thought it'd be nice to have more of like a raw iron work on there. So what I'm going to do first is sketch the design out on the paper so I can use that as a template underneath the glass and then I can um, go along the top of it with the um, stick on lead and then once that's done I can turn it over and put the film on the other side. So yeah, so not another easy job but we'll see how we're going with it.
So that's all of the stencil all done now. Um, and to be honest, it's worked really well together. The sort of style. Obviously, the first part I was just playing about with it, and then I created a stencil just to mimic it all, right the way around. And it's it's fitted in really well. I'm I'm really happy with it. So the next stage, we get the glass on top, and then we can start doing a bit of the lead work on it. Um, the lead work that I've got, it's just a uh, self adhesive lead, so it'll give the, the impression obviously that it's um, either like stained glass or like a nice obviously lead work on it. Um, but yeah, that'd be good. There's a couple of little bits that I want to do in gold as well, um, just to add a bit of gold into it, and then the rest of all just be black. So yeah, obviously, hopefully, I've got enough lead there because I didn't realise I was going to be doing so much. <laughs> But well, yeah, it's worked out well. So I'll get my glass on. I'll go and get the lead and we'll get that on now. So that's it finally done. So I've got all of the lead work on that I wanted um, and all I've done with the centre parts is just sprayed the lead with some gold spray paint um, just to give it a little bit of highlight in the centre part. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll clean up my cough here and I can flip it over and put the frosted film on um, and then obviously it'll make the all the lead work stand out a lot more as well and then I can get into place on the door which is a bonus. So yeah, I'll uh, get all this tidied up now and then I'll get on with the film.
So we've got all of the railings painted. I mean, he's done a fantastic job on getting them all painted up and yep. looking fantastic. And protected for another few years. Yep. But see, it wouldn't be a shadow without adding a little bit of gold to it. Say <laughs> no. You have to have a bit of gold at a shadow. So we decided to do the top acorn and the centre pole in gold, just so when it, you come up, obviously there's a, there's a nice entrance wow. there. Yeah. yeah. It's not a blingy gold either though, it's a gold that we've been using on the radiators and all of the other ironwork. Yeah. Um, so it's like a coppery gold, isn't it? Yeah, like bronzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it won't be in your face, any face gold. Um, and in the sunlight it changes colour. Yeah. So we've got this one masked off. Ash is going to start painting it now. And then I'm going to go over and start masking the other one. And then hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll be done with the day. In this weather, we'll be done. Yeah, yeah. It all works out and it doesn't go bad. It's <laughs> really finished post. Yeah. Because my auntie will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it'll work out and then they'll all be finished and they'll look fantastic. Fingers crossed. So yeah. So we'll get this started now. There it goes. Yeah. Some bling on the outside of the shuttle. We do. Obviously, they're all sorted now. Um, and they're looking fantastic. Just to have a bit of colour back in them, um, and just having them looking fresh. Yeah, it's just amazing. I think having a bit of gold on as well. It's um, it's it just makes them stand out a bit yeah. more, don't they? Yeah, especially the acorn and that. So it yeah, it's good. Really well. A little bit of tiny enough to do on them, and then it's all sorted. It so with the work that my auntie done. And the work that Ash has done turned out amazing. Yeah. Just the rest of them to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few. Yeah. But no, it's turned out really well, so I'm pleased with them. Yeah, we'll go and get on St. Cal's. Come on then. So, I've got all of the glass sorted now, and I've got it ready to put the film on. So the next stage is to give the glass a clean first and then get any little bits off that are on there because it's a little bit dirty. Once that's done, then we can put some warm soapy water on the glass um, and what that does is it just helps with the film while you're placing it on. Otherwise, if you stick the film straight on, it sticks to it and there's no movement. With the warm soapy water, at least you can move it around and get it into a place where you want and it makes it easier to get all the air bubbles out. So I've just got a little squidgy here to get all of the air bubbles out but you can use a card or anything like that. Um, just work from the centre and work your way out. 
And that's it, once it's dried, so we'll be able to cut it down and then get it in the door. So I'll get it cleaned first and then you'll be able to see all the other bits that I get done. So what an amazing week it's been. She really is starting to come back to life. We keep saying it, but she's just becoming more and more alive. Yeah, definitely. There's all these jobs that are like, that we've been wanting to do from day one, mm -hmm. but obviously it was just, it was pointless because there was so much work going on with stuff. Yeah. And now we're getting to those points where we can start working our way through the things that you notice know straight away, like the railings yeah. and obviously doors, and doors and stuff windows, and, yeah. stuff like that. And um, having the volunteers here has just been a game changer though. Really has been so amazing working with them and, and just seeing different ways of doing stuff as well. Yeah. It is only me and Ash on this chat because everyone's still working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's too busy. I'm yeah. about to escape, so Yeah, so it's um obviously we just said we'd quickly do one. But the door obviously for the third floor for our apartment. Yeah. I, to be honest, I've surprised myself with how well it's turned out. Yeah, it's turned out amazing. Yeah, it just it looks amazing. It just finishes off up there. So yeah, that's good. That's come together, um, and obviously the railings with the gold on now. Yeah, it looks um, super. It, just, it looks amazing. So it does really set it off. I did. I was wondering when you said gold on. Yeah, I didn't want. It's not like a gold, as in gold, gold. It's no. it's like quite a brushed. A, yeah, it's quite a subtle one, and in the sun it changes from gold to like a bronzy, brassy, brassy. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's nice. It's not in your face, but it's it's sort of. It does stand out, but it's nice. It's a nice stand out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it's good. Like I said, obviously there's bits coming together now. Um, obviously we've got the railings here, the railings at the front. <clears throat> um, I've been working on God knows how many different windows as yeah. well. And we've got we've got an electrician coming. We have, yep. Yeah. So hopefully in the next week or so we'll have the electrician coming. 
and we'll so be able to have a bath. We might be able to have a bath. <laughs> the electrician will be coming and we'll be able to get the power to the third floor. Yep. Get that sorted. It'll be a massive step forward. Yep. Because then we can run tools and stuff like that. Um, and then, like I said, obviously in the next week or so, it'll be not boring, but it's just a lot of the same thing because I've done four sets of windows. Yeah. Um, so it's it's just been window after window after window. Yeah. Um, there's only another hundred to go so yeah so it's it's been a lot but it's it's good because obviously we're saving the old windows and it's it's brilliant to see them come back to life mm -hmm. isn't it and we have mum and graham coming back soon yep so it's a race ahead to get the spare bedroom done yep take That's two pretty. yeah <laughs> it's nearly done we didn't make the first deadline so hopefully <laughs> we can make the second we'll get there yeah if not, then you'll have to camp out. Yeah, you'll have to, you'll have, to have a tent this time because we, we have nowhere for you. <laughs> yeah. So it's all good. But yeah, but apart from that, like I said, it's all, it's all good. It's all getting there. It's really good truly. It is. Um, and obviously you'll be able to check out more on our Facebook and Instagram. And if, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. Because it massively helps. Like the video, comment. We try and get back to, to whatever we can, whenever we can. So yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. nice seeing them. And if you don't know about it, we've got a charity event coming up on the 7th of August. Yep. Um, which you can find out more on our Facebook and Instagram page. And we'll put a link in the description for this video as well. So if you'd like to attend um, our charity day at the Chateau and have a look around and enjoy some games and chat with us, then you're more than welcome to. Just let us know and we'll uh, see you then. Yep. But for now, we'll get some more work done. Go and see where everyone is. And we will see you on Wednesday. See you Wednesday. Bye. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon for behind the scenes footage, updates, live chat, and your very own piece of the chateau.